Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Just dropped off taxes, so I am so happy. You don't even know. Whew, that's just such a load off. So I'm going to unbox a couple of things. I see some empty spaces and that makes me happy. That means some things have sold. And I brought a light in to try to fix that tower. What else? Oh, I've got a couple of things to pick up. Somebody wanted some little vintage plastic reindeers and I've sold the cat to one of you viewers. Thank you so much. We're gonna double box it and cross our fingers. <laughs> okay, let me fill up some of these empty spots. I'll go over everything I have and then we will go shopping. Just a few more things that I brought in. Let's see if I can find them now. Oh, I brought in a Blanco. Blanco pedestal bowl. Only $38. Kind of priced it fairly to move. I think you guys have seen everything else or you saw me buy it. I did bring in the buffers and I tagged them protector borrow and leave it cashier I decided not to cut up the rug yet I think I'm gonna put the rug in there so I wanted to think about it an anthropology collection for those of you that like anthro and let's see decided to sell my seahorse magnifier this cute Stein from Germany $16 and I'm right near a speaker. A speaker is right near my booth, so. Z Gallery, just the drummer. It's been a while, I decided to go ahead and bring that in instead of putting it on eBay. Those do sell though. Oh, I brought in some enamelware. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I decided to bring this in. 24, oh, 24 for the set. And then these are, I think, 10 and 12. Hang on, I brought that in. That is modern art glass. It is not a Murano piece or Italian. Even though the base is somewhat smooth, it's not totally polished. Really be careful with what people are telling you, you guys. Because there's a lot of people that would, if you said that was Murano, they might be, hmm, maybe. Unless they really knew what to look for, because it's really nicely done with that blue on the inside. Wait a minute, let me get it into the light kind of a tortoise finish on the outside and then like a baby blue it's really nice but I priced that right and I just put art glass I put modern art glass Roadrunner that drum that I've had for a while I decided to try it here first some glass fruit Asian import, Asian import, but this lemon is $2 more. It's beautiful. This is made in Italy. That's a pretty one too, if anyone doesn't have a lemon. I've sold, sold you guys a bit of glass, haven't I? That's a beautiful optic piece. It's got like thumbprints and then stripes. It makes a beautiful optic. I probably would put a tea light in that. Okay. Modern art glass confetti night light. Love this. PG pottery. Oh, I have the light. Yes. So you can see back in there now. Did I tell you guys the person that wanted this didn't pay for it like six months ago? I bought it as is because it's a kind of a rare Royal Copley vintage, of course. So I priced it accordingly as is, $16. It's great in the front, but it is cracked in the back. But that's such a great piece. Um, I brought in some silver fade. It's kind of reverse silver fade. And these are from France brought those in eight dollars a piece there's a decanter and things like that that go with it I saw online 
That's cute. I just picked this up. It was still new. A little sequin mirror box. Linen and there's a mirror inside. It's pretty sturdy. Still have the McCoy. Nobody's popped on my McCoy. I hate to try to ship that and have it ruined, but I may have to put it on eBay. And I'm surprised this is still here. I have a fantastic price on that. $28. I priced it accordingly because it is missing the top. But this is a vintage C. Miller 1957 piece. It's pretty cool. A lot of people try to charge a lot more and it's not really justified if you check comps. Someone asked about this. Let me show this more closely. $28. It's a studio pottery piece. And I reckon it's a pitcher. It's like Man in the Moon or Kissing Lovers. I guess it's about 8 inches tall. There's the Pegasus candle. That slightly glows, that vintage Jeanette. It not it doesn't glow green, of course. That pink depression, it is the Sierra pinwheel pattern. I think, I couldn't tell where these come from. They were unmarked, but they're porcelain and hand painted and they're just cute. I just put them up for $8. Let's see. Oh, I brought in a paperweight. This is a really pretty one. Let me hold this up because this is pretty. Find a, a good way to show you. That's really pretty and then it's got some more blue on top. This is an Asian import but they did a good job didn't they? It's pretty. It's about five inches tall I believe. 4.5 I have. So I put 18. A little more than I would usually charge for um, Asian import paperweight, but that's a really nice one. Vintage ice tray. <laughs> Look what I put on the back too. Don't put your tongue on it frozen. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Seems like I brought in more, but I just really can't quite remember now. <laughs> Anyways, tempted to keep that Blanco. I really was, but better not. I brought that in last week. You guys were with me when I bought that if you watch all my videos. Oh, the dolphins! A smaller version of dolphins. Vintage. 14 inch, four dolphins, metal statue. I've got it priced at 56. They take 10% commission here, which I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you it is what it is because there's a lot of perks in this booth. So I am not even complaining. All right, let's run back to the jewelry. We don't, we have like half an hour, you guys. All right, let's run back to the jewelry booth. Okay, I got the Hager Cat, and I've got the Roy Rogers and Trigger. It's almost closing time, so they're vacuuming. And I want to spotlight these. Someone was asking about them. Now, they're in kind of rough shape, but they're $9.99 for both of them, okay? They look to be about 6 inches tall, and they are vintage, made in Hong Kong, the tag says. It's probably not a bad price, but you will have to touch them up, okay? But I'll come back and get them for you. Yeah, it says $9.99, Hong Kong, two reindeers, okay. I want to go check on my earrings and see if they're on sale yet. Well, it's still just 20% off, so that would be 60. Ah, oh, someone else has been looking at them. Look, they're knocked over. Uh oh, I got some competition on these. I better make up my mind. Those are nice. They're sterling silver with turquoise. They're just so cute. A couple of rings I like too. I did get my taxes done and I tried on that. Felicia helped me with this case and I tried that on. It's so cute. It only fits my pinky, but you put both of them on one finger. They're two different sizes. It was actually cute on the pinky. Size eight and a half and then the other one's a smaller size. 
can't remember how much those were, but that was cute, you guys. Okay, just revisiting some things that I wanted to look at and someone else wanted to look at. So, I want to run back to the jewelry real quick. Hey, I don't have time today, but some of you agreed that we should do another TikTok meditation. So, I'm going to do that soon. I'm just going to, like, when it's not too busy, like on a Monday or something, I'm just going to come in here and film the meditation TikTok is so cool. And I'll just put it at the end of a video for those that want to participate. Well, someone else was looking at jewelry, so I couldn't film. But it did look like she was in. She didn't bring in a lot. Mostly it looked like scarves and some necklaces. But I didn't want to invade someone else's privacy. So we will check again in a couple days. And swing and buy cats to see if she's added anything in the last two or three days. I can never resist her booth. I just can't. <laughs> we have such similar taste. And she's just a nice lady. I've met her. She's a nice girl. She had those, the, what do you call, mole? Mola. I've never bought any. I learned that from um, watching Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady. Well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> $5.20% off. That's cute. It's a little bird. Mexican tonella. It's a little bird. I might have to get that. Hang on. That sure is. That's like those fantasy conventions where they have a lot of the um, not ducks, hello, dragons. And then some of them will be coming out of eggs. I always buy those if I see a good deal at the thrift store. That looks new. Those are nice. Highball. She doesn't say whose they are, but that's pretty with the turquoise and the gold. They're in really good shape. Excuse me while I just look. That seems like a good price for that brand. Smiley smileys. I don't have this. I looked at it last time. I don't have it. $17. I think it's missing a lid. I don't have anything like that yet. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw the scale, the vintage smiley face scale my husband got me crazy I love it all right you guys well I think I'm going to have to just take you thrifting she's got some decent prices I noticed her fire and light is gone so someone bought it or she put it on eBay or something it was the vase it was the Aurora vase I'm gonna turn around real slow okay I think she's added a green Indiana glass. Yes, it's not a Blanco. Still has the black one that I love. Oh, this is new. She's added this. Let's see who's that, who's that is. She just has Murano. Nice bullet Conte. Okay. I'm on board with that. Those, there's some nice pieces um, from Canada too and Poland. Oh, look at that. Now that's something. The crystalline. $40. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right for that name. Look at it. It's about what I'd sell a plate for. Still has her Bluebird of Happiness. Yep. That was it. That's us. Oh, thank goodness. I almost forgot. One more thing. There. Excuse me a minute. Someone wants to see this up close. Know more about it. You'll have to read it. There was somebody that wanted this. Looks like it's $32. Porcelain bite rose. I don't know. That's that's new to me. 
my hands are full. So I can't even, okay, hang on. <laughs> they want us out of here. But let me do this real quick. Oh, okay. There we go. Can't remember who wanted it, but I'm lingering so you have time to catch that. It's not in too bad a condition. Some crazing in the back, but I don't see any repairs or big chips. Not even on the inside of that. Okay, there you go, Dave. Let me know if I need to come back and pick it up for you. All right, seriously, have to go. See you guys at the thrift store. Well, I chose New Horizons because it's like two blocks down the street on the way home. <laughs> and they usually have the best prices. So let's go hit the hard goods first. I looked at this last time and I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. Now it's, that's what I thought, blue tag. It lights up, it looks vintage. Oh, never mind. Wait a minute, let me set it down and show you. That's an European plug or something. Okay, anyways, what is this, you guys? What nationality or region is that? They're still not super stocked. And they still have their help wanted sign out like every other business. Darn, I'm not putting anything in the cart yet. Always have fun anyways. It's not glass. All of the thrift stores have been slim pickings. I know sometimes stores slow down to do their inventory at the end of the year, you know, um, but hey, that's glass. Oh, I looked at that last time. I wanted that glass, but I didn't want to pay $5 just for a tomato because, like, I just put one in my booth for, what, $8 or $10. Anyways, but time to do year-end inventory seems like it's way past, so. Those were different, too. Cauliflower. $5. No luck so far, but you never know. It only takes one good item to make it worth it. Hmm. My clock is still here. What was wrong with it that I didn't get it? I think the dial was kind of faded. Well, there might be something interesting. Especially if it's older, $5.99. Some people like this stuff, don't they? There's a lot in there too. Candle holders? Okay, and there's a way to hang it. I see the way to hang it. Looks like two pieces. Hmm. That's an interesting like outdoor piece or for a sunroom. That's a maybe. It's only $5.99. I don't know how to tell if it's old yet. I'll investigate it a little more closely. Next row. That's plastic. I remember that from last week. Darn, I'm not gonna get a vase today, am I? <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> All right, let's keep trying. Let's not give up yet. I'm not gonna give up yet gotta be something thank goodness we have like 30 thrift stores in this medium-sized town it's kind of cool that looks vintage cart shot nothing I had to put that back the paint is peeling off of it it's definitely not very old darn this is kind of remarkable